Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Mythical back again and today I am doing a review on Emergence Audio's Quantum Plugin. But if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to stay up to date with more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks. Otherwise, let's go. Okay, so what I did was record five different synth pads and five different synth leads that Quantum offers. But first, I just want to go over the GUI that Quantum has and everything is laid out really well in front of you. I love the design. Everything looks really professional and there is literally an infinite amount of possibility laid within these different parameters. So starting up top, you have the ability to blend two different synths and some of these are recorded upwards of three minutes and they call those the evolutionary cycles, so you'll never have a static sample of your synth, which is really cool. Your ADSR, which you can link, you can customize one synth and customize the other, or, or you can link them both together, which is cool. You can tempo sync the LFO effect to your the tempo of your song and randomize. You can randomize everything and make a whole new pad, and you can high and low pass filter both sides, which is really cool. The effects, awesome reverb, sounds really great. The delay sounds really great. I have uh, a bass track on the intro segment that I did that I used a little chorus and distortion and some saturation on it, and I am really impressed. So awesome job, Emergence Audio for doing a really banging job on this. So let's just go over the uh, pads here. And what I'll do is I'll just shut the mic off and I'm just gonna let these play through. And these are just some random um, pads that I took from the, from the instrument. There are a lot of them, but I chose just five random ones that um, were on the main pads page. So let's just go through them. Okay, so let's do the synth leads now.
So to top off this review, I just want to go over a few different things, what I liked, what I disliked, and what I feel this plugin is good for out of the box and who's it geared towards. Um, if you buy anything from Emergence Audio, keep in mind their customer service is excellent. I've had no issues with um, waiting on them to get back to me if I have a question about anything. They are really cool, really cool people. So yeah, what I liked about the plugin itself is the GUI is really pretty. It's easy to navigate and fun to play with. And there are an infinite amount of possibilities with sound design and sound shaping. The reverb and delay are really great as well, along with the other effects. And the recorded samples are very, very good. Um, they, like I mentioned before, they have recorded samples of upwards of three minutes, so you get non-static sampling. And I think that's really important to, um, I think, songwriting and just creativity as well. Uh, what I disliked was I feel like the pads and the drones and some of the other instruments far outweigh the synth leads that they could have included. There's only five synth leads. If they did more plucks and keys and some more, just some more short synths, I think it would be a lot better, in my opinion, for just songwriting and creativity. Um, but yeah, as far as like what this is good for, I think maybe more drone and sound design, new age, maybe some meditation. Uh, synth wave music, I think, would benefit from this as well because it's got a really analog sound and maybe some d down tempo. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I, I enjoyed writing that little 30 second, 40 second number for the intro. And once again, thanks Emergence Audio for letting me do this review and hit that like button if you liked it. And if you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Otherwise, I will see you later.